morning everyone welcome back and welcome back to another video professor mike here in today's video i'm going to describe what is the best bang for your buck f-150 so just a quick recap guys in case you are new to the channel professor mike this is my 2018 f-150 xl with the stx package in today's video we're going to describe everything that it has to offer and why it truly is the best trim level out of all the F-150 lineups. Now there are about seven different trim levels for the F-150 and I've decided and I came up with the STX being the number one. So let's jump right into the video. Yeah, so like I said, this is a base XL truck. Now the XL is the lowest trim model for the F-150 lineup. And this came with the STX package. So it's essentially probably like a sport package that uh, they add on to the basic XL level. But when people think of XL trim levels, they think of work truck, they think of the white with the uh, plastic bumpers, the single cab, and they don't really understand that, you know, there are certain packages that you can put on it to make it look almost like a Lariat, almost like a Platinum. Like if you guys looked at this thing right now, would you think it's a bare bones work truck? Probably not. So let's go ahead and jump into everything that it has to offer. To start off, when I was looking at buying trucks, looking at F-150s, I decided that, you know, I could go with the XLT Sport because I wanted everything to be color matched. I didn't like chrome. I didn't like uh, all the flashy bling. Um, I didn't want the center, uh, what's it called, the bench seat in the middle. Um, I just wanted it to look cool. I wanted it to look sporty. And when I was looking at the lineups, I saw the STX. And I was like, what is an STX? And essentially, it is just a bare bones work truck but they put on a sport package, so it does give you the body colored look. Everything is color matched. So for example, the bumpers on the L XLTs are all chrome. The grill is chrome. The door handles are um, not color matched. The back bumper is chrome as well. And so when I was looking at the trucks, I was like, you know what, I don't really like chrome. I like the, the all black or the all white or what is it, all gray, like the sport the sport package. The only thing about the XLT though, sport, it's about 10 grand more than any other package in the XL lineup or the regular XLT. Um, so what was like the way I could get all black without having to, and then I thought, you know what, how about I just, you know, I'll buy an XLT and then I'll just take off all the chrome and repaint it. But then that's probably gonna cost around five to $10,000 extra anyways to do that which is also a pain i got to take everything off i got to get it to a paint shot i didn't want to do all that another three reason why the xl with the stx package is so cool is because of the grill now look at this grill this grill is only on the xl stx package you will not find this grill on any other package sometimes the special edition packages have it I'm pretty sure they do the special edition lariats or the XLT Sports have this grill. That's the coolest grill. And everybody's looking for this grill. I loved how it was also color matched. Now, another thing is 20 inch rims. Yep, these are stock 20s with a negative 44 offset. And the tire size is 275, 55, 20. Now, these are the original tires that I bought because it was a used truck and they have Hankook Dynapro tires on them, which have been great. I put about 20,000 miles on them. They still got a lot of life left in them, but I really like the rims. Compared to the XLTs, they have 18 rims, or 18 inch rims. So the 20s really fill out the wheel well nicely. If I take a step back here, you can definitely see it. They, they fill it out nicely. That's a stock stance. There's no level, there's no lift. Um, that's just how they, how they come. The next thing is the running boards. Now the running boards came with the truck, and this is a OEM official for running boards. Probably run you about three hundred to four hundred dollars to get these, and uh, they really complement and uh, make the truck look a little bit wider. And uh, I really like those about the uh, F one fifties. I do like the powered step running boards where they kind of go up and down. Those are like two thousand dollars though. I don't think it's necessary. And as you guys can see, the badge right here, F one fifty. STX and I do like the chrome even though you know I said I said I don't like chrome a little bit of chrome is okay like here in the front and then also 
My badge is also chrome, and, and the wheels have chrome on them. Which, like, you know, little subtle hints of chrome definitely uh, complements the truck. So that's the outside, and it definitely looks a lot better than the XLTs for sure. And it's $10,000 cheaper. Now let's go into the inside because there, there was stuff on the XLT that the STX had that the XLTs didn't. Somehow, some way, and I will show you. So coming into the inside, the XLTs have a bench seat, which I thought was so cheesy. It looks awful. I really wanted something to separate the driver from the passenger and have something in the middle and really complete the look. And the XLTs don't have that unless you go with the Sport. So the STX did have it. It had this nice center console. Open it up. You can put everything inside. It's got the cup holders. It's got you know everything in there. The storage compartments. Um, yeah, I mean, technically, the third row or the bench seat can have extra seating. But honestly, when am I ever going to put that many people in this truck? And also, I don't really want someone sitting right on top of me as I'm driving as well. Something I didn't want. Now, if I jump into it, you'll notice that the shifter is on the column and not on the, uh, on the center console. Now, the XLT Sport have a center shifter. Some people call this the man shifter. It didn't really bother me. If it was here or here, it does not matter at all. Um, personally, I kind of like it up here because then it gives me an extra storage spot for more stuff because normally the shifter would be right here. So you wouldn't have all this extra storage. Another thing that the STX had that the XLT didn't is this 10 inch screen or it's an eight inch screen. Maybe it's an eight inch screen, but the XLTs have a little four inch screen. It's like this big and I don't understand uh, why they did that. Unless like I said, you go with the sport model, which is about $10,000 more than this truck. And lastly, this the cloth interior is like a sport black, super cool. Now the XLTs just have a uh, like a tan. It's like almost like this color, but seating wise, didn't like that color. I like the black. I think the black looks really cool. It's really sporty. Um, like I said, the XLTs didn't have this color. Now these sports do. If you do want it to get like a leather. It would be uh, another couple grand more, and this guy's coming through here. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. And um, like, yeah, if you wanted to get leather, it's gonna be definitely a couple grand more to get the uh, cat skin. Um, but like, in a truck, I just don't feel like that's necessary, especially in. A bare bones truck like this <laughs> even though I, I know I say it's bare bones but it's really not it really it really has a lot of features to it I mean let's just take a quick look and you can see that this thing is a uh, really well put together it's if you got into it you wouldn't think it's a it's a work truck but it's definitely priced as a work truck and that's why let me open this back door and that's why I bought it because it was priced reasonably because trucks are just so expensive these days i mean let's be real why does this truck have to be uh, an xlt sport or f1 any kind of f150 f150 have to be over fifty thousand dollars that's just it's just getting ridiculous like it's it just it's so dumb so the best thing you have to do is get something used one to two years old get a low trim package and then kind of put things onto it like I've done a lot of things to this truck. I put, I body colored everything. Um, like just like this door handle was not. It was like this color. You know, I uh, blacked out the emblems. All the windows are tinted. I got the door handles color matched. I got the B pillars color matched. I got the mirror caps color matched. Put some new headlights and fog lights. It looks way better than any other Lariat on the road. And probably fifteen to twenty thousand dollars less and it's paid off and that's the best thing about it I think trucks paid off it's fully mine it's the v8 5.0 and it has the uh, four-wheel drive package I'm actually gonna pop the hood because you guys have any you guys haven't even seen under the hood yet I don't think I've made a video of what it actually looks like under there so let me just pop this open for you guys so you can see this 5.0 engine and it's been awesome 
so far. You know, I'm not trying to drink anything though, but so far it's been good. All right, and there it is. Battery looks great. Um, there is the engine, pretty stock. The whole um, truck is stock performance-wise, but do plan on getting a catback system, a cold air intake, and then a tune. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I think um, that pretty much sums up, you know, why this STX is the best bang for your buck when it comes to the F-150 lineup. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree with me that if you get the XL, you put the STX package on it, it's better than the XLT, it's probably about the same as the XLT Sport, and uh, and so on. And it's definitely a $10,000 less, especially in today's market. So, I hope this video helped, and if it did help, uh, go ahead and leave a like so that YouTube will share this with other people. And uh, leave a comment what you guys think, and uh, what kind of trim level you guys have, and um, what you guys think the best bang for your buck is. And uh, give me some ideas on what you'd like to see done to the truck next. I'd love to hear back from you, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.